guys, Blue Cooley coming at you. I know I don't normally do videos this time of day, but it is what it is. <laughs> um, anyway, well, I got you guys over here. I'm going to take you guys back to these CMEs that happened, okay? Now, the one on the left is the one that happened first. If you watch that top sunspot, you see it explode. Okay. One on the right. See it explode, right? Okay. Now this is it. And then we had a CME in between this on the back side. Now why does that even matter? Because it adds energy to our solar system. We're all connected. Okay. Um, at some level we're connected. So anything that happens pretty much anywhere actually adds extra energy. Now does it add a whole lot? No. Okay. At least not where we're sitting. So when the two earth facing ones happen... The third one happened in between. And then this right here is a current picture from the SDO. And it's showing corona holes earth facing. Okay, when we get corona holes, we get increased solar winds. Um, I know I've spoken about that before. But for the, those that aren't new, that's what it does. Now, see the shape there, right? Well, then you look at this one. It, obviously, that's bigger, right? On the right. Why is that? Well, the reason is because we're looking at it in two different angstroms. An angstrom is just a, a measurement for light. Okay. And um, that's what they use. They've assigned the word angstrom to the measurement for light. That's all that it is. So on the right, we're looking at 211 angstrom. And then on the left, we're looking at 193. This is why we look at different ones. Because we see slightly different stuff. On the right, obviously the stuff looked bigger, right? Because... It's a different light spectrum so you can tell that the the hole is actually just a probably just a little bit bigger than what it's what it's representing on the left okay uh it doesn't mean that it's wide open but it you can definitely tell and because i mean even if you look at this you can see how it gets darker just take for instance this part right here where it's a little darker now, if we go over here, you can see that it's almost opened up in that same area. That's the reason, okay? That's why we look at different stuff. Now, corona holes increase the solar winds. So you add all four of these things together, guys. And what it does is it, it compounds a little bit. Not completely. But sometimes these events can be a little bit bigger when they happen back to back like this. Now, I said previously we're not going to see hardly any effect. And we may not. Um, but I do think there's a greater risk, given the fact, and I didn't factor this in before, that these things happen so close to each other. Um, so going from pretty much having no event to a possible little bit of something going on is probably what's going to happen. Now, I expect the first CME to get here today. Um, it's Monday. Uh, I think today's the 11th. But... Yeah, because it's moving at 1.3 million miles an hour, and, you know, you do some simple math, and that puts it here, you know, today. So, but it could actually be a little bit stronger than what we initially thought, just because of all the other stuff happening. So, without going into a whole bunch of technical, you know, how stuff compounds, multiple events compound, and, and they make bigger events, um, that's essentially what's happening. All right. Now, again, we may not see nothing, but, you know, we could see satellite issues. We could see minor power grid stuff happening. Um, I'm not talking about substations blowing up or nothing like that. So don't don't go there with it because that's not what I'm saying. Um, what I'm saying is there could be small power outages probably that wouldn't last very long. All that stuff. Now, what I want to do is I want to show you guys how to look and tell. Where, where this stuff and, and why this stuff even matters so what we're gonna do is i i go to a website okay guys um and i put a shortcut on my desktop but it is uh this one right here it is the national outage mutual aid map and mutual aid map is what it says okay now what this is and let's not Okay, what this is, is a map showing you 
the outages electrically okay now you can you can mess with the key on this or whatever you want to do however you got to do it you see the purple those are counties and it's telling you um exactly what's going on in those counties electrically now you see the radar it's laid over top of this you can take that away if you want you don't have to even look at the radar um but you know if you start seeing you can use this even just for simple um power grid stuff during no event stuff like if you're having a thunderstorm and you're wondering why your power went out if you're the only one well you can make phone calls and figure that out too but you can also go to these maps and it'll show you i'll leave a link to this so you guys can look at it but something else i want to uh, show you guys real quick if you guys go this is where i go okay if i'm just looking for one like capture I'll go over here to the SWMF tool, and what this is, is it gives us all three views, one capture. And this updates, I think, every six minutes, I think. Now, I'm looking at this, and if you're can, if you looking at it, you can tell that something is already happening, okay? You see the, the out here in the front, that's usually yellow, so these colors are differentiating. Um, our bow shock is usually really, really dark red, and it's not here. Uh, and it's going across all of this. Plus, you can see a perfect circle around the earth all the way around. So we, you can tell that it's, we're juiced right now. Okay. Now, our wind speed, and I'm going to take you somewhere else here in a minute and show you wind speed. But that You can look at it there also. Um, sometimes that number will jump, and when it does jump, we know we're getting hit with high solar winds now there's a <coughs> there is a uh, chart down here on this one too now you see this it says ion density see how it bottomed out and there's nothing there okay whenever you see that you should really take a look okay um, at these other models so there's another somewhere else I'm going to take you I'm going to take you over here to planetxnews.org because this is where I go when I go look at this um you go over here obviously i'm scrolling down to the links but you can look at the magnetosphere in a different model okay the sun would be on the other side in these models just to let you know and you can tell that that ain't normal just by looking at it that ain't something that we normally see um there either that's definitely an uptick in some energy uh, that right there, I know that's very indicative of what's going on. I mean, this all matches up, and we know that it's probably going to get a little bit increased here, is what I'm saying. Okay. Now, there's a CME tracker here also. I'm not going to go there. I, I, what I did was I, I made a video, recorded a video of it. Um, you guys can go check it out. But if I click on it, sometimes it, it kills my recording for some reason. Stupid technical crap. But, um, so what I'm forced to do is I'm forced to, <laughs> um, put it in a recording and then show it to you guys that way. Okay. So this is it right here. I'm going to hit play. Now, what I want you guys to understand, if you look, there's no CME being shown at all. And there were two of them. All right. So what does that mean? Well, it means they're not telling us or showing us or for some reason. I don't know why. But it does show the CME that came off the backside. So it makes no sense to me. It's like it was either wrong data and they can't figure it out. Or they're trying to not let us see exactly what's happening. I don't know what's going on here. Um, I think... I think Ben over at Suspicious Observer actually talked about this a little bit because he noticed it too that, you know, I, don't, it, I think this is after the first one they actually did this because I seen it then also, but they didn't even show the second one here, guys. Okay, and I don't know why. I mean, it's really puzzling to me because I've never seen them do this before on this model. Yeah, I've seen them do other crazy stuff on other models, guys, but that is just, it's not right. All right, I'm just going to put it to you that way. So you guys can go over to, you know, go to that tracker and check it out. 
Um, there's also something else I'm going to show you real quick. I meant to show you while I was over here already. Um, PlanetXNews.org again here, guys. Um, but these links, this, these are where these links are at. Real, you can get to them other ways. You can put desktop links and stuff. But if you don't want to do all that, you want to make it easy, you just come down here to these links. If we go to space weather on this link, okay, hit space weather, and it gives you multiple different data points here. Okay, you see where it says space weather. It tells you the KP right here. That's geomagnetic activity. That's the KP level. That's going to spike. Okay, it will. You're going to see it as these things come in. It's probably going to hit probably a 5, um, possibly a 6. That's just my guess. Um, and again, that's not no huge event, but it is noteworthy. Now then you can go down here and you can look at other stuff. Visible light, you know, x-ray manager. You can get to the Lasco C3 here. Um, this is the one I wanted to show you, okay? Because if you go to, this is the Enlil prediction, all right? See the radial velocity? That is the wind speed, okay? So if you guys want to watch the fluctuation in wind speed or see how high it's getting, you can go there. Now, I just talked about density. See how it's dropped out here? Whenever that drops, normally the wind speed goes up. They're connected very, very closely. Now, you can also go here and watch the wind speed. Okay? See where it says speed? It's the yellow graph here. You can look at density there. This is the ACE. Okay? Without going into a whole bunch of details there, I'm, I'm not going to go into that right now. But... um. Anyway, there, there, if you just come here to where it says space weather, okay, you can get a whole lot of information just by looking at this one. Okay, so I wanted to show you guys all that so you guys can go look. Um, I'll leave a link to the power outage uh, map. Um, you know, like I said, guys, this, this isn't nothing to worry about, right? But I did want to bring up a correction type of situation here. Um you know, at the same time, we need to be paying attention because sometimes things happen that we're not expecting. You know, sometimes we expect a small event and we get a get no event. Sometimes we expect a small event and we get a large event. You know, we just don't know 100% until it actually gets here. But if anybody wants to keep an eye on it themselves, I just wanted to show you those tools so you guys can go look. Um, and again... I'll probably give more updates on this, but, uh, yeah, I just wanted to bring that out to you guys and just, uh, give you guys a little update on that. There's other stuff going on too. I'm not going to talk about it in this video, but, um, I will touch on something. Um, been getting, some, you know, I got a couple comments and I think they're from viewers that haven't been or subscribers that haven't been here very long. Um, if you guys remember when I first started my channel, I, I was doing everything on my phone okay i had a great guy up in michigan offer to give me a computer that he had at the house his name's mike i've talked about him before here guys he's great he's become a great friend um a true friend actually and anyway he sends me a computer that used to be one of his kids computer and it, it didn't have a charger so i got i got a charger for it, it was like seven bucks no big deal right so i go i go and i plug it in there all that and it was just flashing on and off on and off it just there was something wrong with it and uh had my wife take it into her work and have some of the tech guys you know take a look at it it was going to cost more in other words it wasn't worth fixing because it was going to cost more than what i could go out to the store and buy one pretty much um well just to tell you how good people are in this world and mind you, I never asked for any of this. Any of this, all this was just offered. This is how good the how good Mike how good of a person Mike is. He went out to Best Buy like the day he found out about that and sent me a brand new computer. Um and like software that goes with it and virus I mean all that stuff, okay? He didn't go out and just you know buy something that was just nothing. I mean, he actually bought me laptop that is very very cool um i've had some comments saying i'm not using a computer i'm using my phone well there's a reason behind that okay 
Right now I'm having internet connection problems. Okay. I still do all my research on the computer. If I didn't, I, it would take me hours and hours and hours to try to do it on my phone. Um, you guys see me navigating on my phone quite often. But I already know where I'm going. And how do I know where I'm going? Because I've already looked at it on my computer. All right. What I'm saying is that my upload speed was so stinking long through my computer because I'm having internet connection. It was It's faster for me to upload it through mobile data, which I don't have on my computer, obviously. All right. So I'm having to use my phone for that. But don't think I'm not using this computer. And, you know, it was so, so it made my life so much better. I've been able to look at so many more different things and, you know, and I can't give more of a shout out to Mike than what I already have. I mean, he's just a great guy. And we see that in our community a lot. You know, I know we focus on all the negative a lot. But I want you guys to know that there are a lot of good people here. Okay? Lots. Lots of good people. And, you know, we all have to keep that in mind. Which is what I say a lot. You know, we can't just go straight to the negative 100% of the time. And it's easy to do, but we don't want to do that, okay? But I wanted to address that because I didn't want people to think that um, the computer that Mike bought me was not being used because it is. And as soon as I get my connection fixed to the point where I can actually upload and it doesn't take me four or five hours to upload a 20-minute video, <laughs> um, I'll do that, you know? And they are, the, the cable companies actually, they're working on it. They're trying to, you know, it's going to, I guess they have to replace something out here at the street or something. I'm not sure exactly, but it's been on the books to be fixed is what I'm saying. So, anyway, with that being said, guys, God bless. Yeshua saves, and uh, you can drink this Kool-Aid.